Okay, a quick update uh, on the mill. Um, uncovered the issue behind the spindle speed not being accurate. Uh, so basically what it boiled down to is the pulleys, the spindle cartridge pulley and spindle pulley for my mill are different from the newer systems. So when I converted to the version two electronics, it was assuming a ratio of one to one for the two pulleys and the ratio is actually uh, 1.47 something. So the ratio for mine is different, uh, which means I can fix it and mock at least by going in and making changes to the pulley uh, selection uh, configuration screen. So pulley number one, um, I've had to set it to zero minimum speed, 7900 uh, for the top speed and a ratio of 1.5 and that's given me pretty accurate results. So what that means is, let me just show you. Close this out here. And if we go to MDI and do a speed request of 500 and M3. And then measure the speed with the handy dandy photo tack it'll take a second but eventually it'll get up to 500 so basically that's how I got the spindle to be accurate it's weird because you know the minimum speeds not really zero and the top speed's not really 7900, but this configuration results in the spindle speed being accurate uh, across the range. It seems to cap out, I guess an upshot of me having a different pulley ratio is that I get a different top speed. I think the normal top speed is like 5000 RPM. Uh, this one will go up to like 6500. Um, in theory, I think it should actually go a little faster, but seems to cap out at 6500. You also notice this spindle is a lot more quiet than it was before. It's almost silent. And the only thing I did differently there was I slightly adjusted the uh, the motor mount. Um, really the belt that attaches the two spindle pulleys together. I moved the motor mount a little bit forward to take some tension off of the uh, belt and that resulted in uh, a nice quiet operation and I, I moved it just a I pushed it all the way tight and then just moved it a very fraction of it I don't know how far but I just barely moved it a little bit forward to put to take some tension out of the belt and uh, now it's nice and quiet so go ahead and request 1000 rpm here and should get a thousand thousand here now and again nice quiet operation so the mills in a good enough situation where I can at least know that if I request a speed and mock that I'm going to get an accurate result at the spindle and that's really all I need to start using the mill the coolant motor on mine crapped out so I don't have coolant for right now, but that's fine. I can use WD-40 until uh, I get a new coolant pump in. You can see here on the on the control panel that the you know it's not accurate, and that's because the ratio on the control panel is still one to one. Phil's gonna send me some instructions on how to change that ratio so it's a uh, I guess one to one point five. And uh, once he does, then I should be uh, good to go. So, I guess it's technically a ratio of 1.5. But at any rate, once he gets me that ratio change uh, for the control panel, then the manual mode speed selections will be correct too. Let me just show you real quick what it sounds like in theory at 6,000 RPM. So I'll do a speed request here. S6000. I've noticed 
that the higher the speed you request, the longer it takes to come up to that speed. Uh, at the higher speeds, it um, takes a while to get there. But it does get there, eventually. So even though it's like 5,800 right now, it'll eventually creep up to, to six grand. But it literally takes, you know, about a minute to get all the way up to speed. So that's 6,000. Spindle's nice and quiet. Sounds really good. Um, and as far as like on my spindle, given that it has, you know, the Japanese Nachi bearings, Apex 7 bearings, and Kluber grease and stuff, the spindle cartridge itself doesn't get hot at all. It maybe gets to like 10, 10 degrees above ambient. The motor though, the motor itself, it gets pretty hot. Uh, I've seen it get up to 100 and like 130 degrees Fahrenheit, running it like this at 6,000 RPM with no no uh, no cut load on it. So, you know, that is what it is, I guess. Might put a fan maybe to blow on the motor, I was thinking. I'm not sure if that's a good idea or not, but I was thinking maybe a fan to, to, that would blow some air across the, uh, the motor. So yeah, there it is running at 6,000 RPM, and Phil gave me the option to switch to the one-to-one -one pulley ratio or leave it like this at 1.1, 1.5. Uh, I'm gonna keep it like this, uh, just because um, I do feel like with the with the modified spindle that I have, with the better bearings and the grease and stuff, that it's not gonna be a problem. It may be a problem for the motor though, I guess but I don't think it's gonna be a problem with the uh, temperature on the spindle. Lose a little torque uh, for the top speed, but again, I, I mostly work in 6061 aluminum, so that should be okay. Uh, that shouldn't be a problem. But uh, let me just show you the temperature real quick. It's probably not all the way up to temperature yet. Now it's pretty warm in here. I've got some tape on the uh, on the spindle just because the thermometer doesn't work as well on reflective surfaces. So the tape's just to make the thermometer more accurate. So the spindle's reading 89. The uh, ambient temperature's slight. Well, let's go see. Looks like the ambient temperature is about 82 in here. So right now it's just running, you know, maybe six to eight, six to eight degrees above uh, ambient. And it'll get up if you let it run for a while. It'll get up to like 10 degrees above ambient, but it kind of tapers off there. The motor, though, that's a different story. It eats up pretty good. It'll eventually get up to like 130 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, I'm not sure if that's going to be a problem or what. Honestly, at this point, I'd rather break the spindle sooner rather than later. Like if it's going to break, I want to know now so I can figure out a plan to switch it to uh, another technology, probably an AC motor with the VFD. So I'm not real worried about babying it anymore. If it's going to break, it's going to break and I'm just going to get rid of it altogether. So, um, I mean, I'm not going to abuse it, but I'm not going to, you know, not run it because I'm afraid that it's going to break or something. If it's going to break, I want to know about it. So that's basically it. That's that's the uh, update on the spindle. And now I'm going to actually try and use the machine to make part. And maybe I'll make a video of that later.